Yeah. 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 So, so, so speaking of early Twisted Sister, so one of your friends, a gentleman named Mark Weiss, who did the covers for Stay Hungry and Come Out and Play, was pretty instrumental in the imaging of the band. He's here. We wanted to bring him in to have a little chat with us, if you don't mind. Come on in, Mark. Hey, hey, hey buddy, what's happening? There you are. Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? All right. So, so D, how did you get, how did you guys get wrapped up with this character? How did that happen? He was uh, assigned to our, to do our, our, our album cover shoot. And um, it's funny. I wonder if Mark's memory of it is, is like mine is. And uh, I can't remember the guy who ran Bob. What was Bob his name? Bob, Bob, Bob Deffern. Yeah. Bob Deffern at Atlantic records. I guess he hired Mark to do the shoot. And um, I was like the, I was like the, the, I controlled everything in Twisted Sister. Everything was my ideas. And I used to say to guys, hey, guys, if you got any ideas, I welcome them, you know, and nobody was forthcoming. Well, Mark Mendoza said, I got an idea for the album cover. And it's, it was called, going to be called Stay Hungry. And he says, we're going to be, the band is going to be dressed in street clothes in this room with a bone, just a bare bone on the table. It's like a tenement. We're starving and superimposed behind us will be us in our costumes and makeup, like the, like fame and fortune in our dreams. And I said, you know what? That is a great idea. Run with it. And I meant it. It sounds great. And so Mark the Animal Mendoza, uh, who dealt with Mark Weiss, and they put this whole shoot together. Right, Mark? Yeah. He, I showed he, up he, he, the room. His vision, yeah. He told, and, me, he told me his vision, and, and I was like, all right. Figured out what the budget was. I said, okay, he wanted this room and he wanted me to get all these little things in there, little mice, little, you know, the bone and the table and the light, make it look like so. It was a built set. And, and I was impressed. When I walked in, I was impressed with Mark Mendoza's vision and yeah. then seeing it brought to life. It was like, wow, this is great. I really did not want to be, I was going to say it on record, I didn't want to be the guy, total control guy. It was just like, <laughs> Nobody else. I was just the only one coming up with ideas all the time. So yeah. this was great. So we come in and have to do two shots, right? One is going to be around the table, which is the back cover of the album, as you know it. And the other one was going to be in the room. But the dimensions of the room had two problems. The dimensions weren't quite big enough. So we really had to all press up against the wall, these big guys with my shoulder pads. And we had a very tight space. And then they forgot one thing. There was a light bulb hanging down in frame right in the middle. So whoever was in the middle had a light bulb blocking their face. <laughs> this is so, Photoshop where you could just like get rid of it, you know? No, there was no photo. So now we get the pictures and nothing works. Okay, so this, this, this is the story, and it's really, and again, you just talk about fate and all that kind of things like that. So now we're looking at these pictures. We can't make them work. We said, well, all right, let's have a picture of the band. But everybody, because of the way the room was, we're just standing, like, perfectly straight against the back wall. There was no animation. It was just, like, it was too posed. So we're looking, and we're looking, and we're looking. Cut to this bone that Mark got. He had bought it like how many days before? That Did morning. A week? No, that morning. Yeah, that morning I got it. I, I was like, oh crap, because it smelled like a dead carcass. It was rotted. Where did you get it? Where did you get it from? From like the butcher or where did you get it? Yeah, the butcher shop down the street. He, he got it days before because no one wanted to Excuse me, do you have a dinosaur <laughs> bone? Because <laughs> it smells so bad. So, so we've done, we started, was it? 11 a.m. on day one, and we finished 9 a.m. day two. Mark, yeah. we were shooting almost 24 hours. Yeah. We, we knew we were hitting the road, and Mark, he shot everything, all kinds of yeah, we, did, we, did like, we did, like, straight shots with the with the, with just the jackets on, with a brick wall. We had little sets here and there. The whole studio was, was like, had sets all over the place, and we just – I kept working them. But, but those guys were, like – they kept giving me the finger, and they kept, like, laughing. <laughs> yeah, and those in AJ kept ruining shots, not me. So, so. <laughs> well, I was just done. We said, <laughs> okay, that's it. We're walking off, and Mark goes, and, it's just, and anybody who's worked with Mark Weiss knows, hey, one more, how about one more roll? There's always one more roll. You're like, oh, come on, we've been here 22 hours. And he goes, 
<laughs> just one roll of 36. Let me just shoot one roll. So I said, it's just you in the room. I said, okay. So I go in the room and I start posing and I look at that bone. I said, oh, screw it. I grab the stinky bone. I said, I'll burn the glove later. And I just start posing with the bone, just doing all this crazy stuff with the bone, the bone, the bone. Well, here we are looking for the album cover shot, a shot that captures Stay Hungry, captures the attitude, the feeling, and is one of the last shots, shots Mark took. Me crouched in the corner with the bone, and everybody goes, that's the one. It, it was the that's last. Awesome. There's 36 pictures on a roll of film. It was no. the last photograph. Like No know, kidding. There was great photos like before that, but that one photo was the magic moment, and it's like that was it. I'm like, all right, we're done. And yeah. this is this is my book, and I'm going to show you. Marcus, as you guys know, Marcus done some legendary between yeah. Mark and Neil Flower. Yeah. You got like all of rock and roll coverage. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah. West Coast, and East Coast. This yeah. between Lowe's and Mark. Yeah. Here's the two uh, the two shots that we were supposed wow. to be in one photo. Yeah. Wow. They were supposed to be overlapped together. All right. Okay. And then this is like this is like the 35th roll. Fifth. 35th frame wow. and then the other frame that was that was the actual cover wow. Oh, iconic wow that's a good what a great i mean isn't that that's just like the making of everything great in our world it's like when you're pushed to the brink there is nothing left in the tank it's the last one the last exactly. frame the final take the whatever you know just the that's it and then we got it hey, do you know how many times as the, as the producer said to you all right we got it we got it yeah. Well, now, just go one more time. Right. And how many times is that the one? Because now that you've sort of, I don't know, you mentally said, okay, we got yeah. this. Yeah. I can just yeah. go for it. And you're just set free in a way. Because, yeah. you know, and, and, I, and I think it's like that with those shots. I, he says, one more roll. We've been shooting for 22 hours. I know we got it. All right. Let's, and I just went nuts. And because, because you know, know you're, you're right. There's something in the psyche when you're sort of off the chain. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we got it's either the first take or the very last one. Like you said, again, okay, we got it. Just run one more. You, you're right. There is. There's something in your psyche where you let loose and you go, and that's it. And it's well, and you thank know, you, Martin, for doing that to us. You know, you're done for the for the day. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna give it to me. You know? Yeah. And right. some of the best photos, like at the end, like I I jump in the photo. And those are the shots that's like, I wish I wasn't in the photo because now they're coming along. <laughs> you, you need to get Melody to Photoshop you out of them. <laughs> anyway, now the technology's there. Steve, so, yeah, hey I, have, guys, I gotta go. So wait, 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 I have a surprise for you. you okay. Surprise. 35 years. What was it called? The second album after that? It was Come, Come Out and play. play. Come Out and Play. Okay, remember this? Hold on. Yes, I remember okay. that. You see the fingernails and the mummy outfit and all that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I just went in my garage, and I looked at the back of it, and I found this tape to it. You want to know what this is, D? Is that is that the, the Su Suzette Ratman or whatever? Or what is it? Uh, this is an unveiling. Look at this. This is like – there was like – there's Polaroids from the shot. Oh, wow. But wait. Petrelli? Yeah. Oh. El Petrelli oh, joins Petrelli. us. Right. The nail. Remember the nail? The finger nails. I got, <laughs> wait. And look, yeah, the, was, mummy, the mummy. The mummy. I got the rap. Oh, this guy, this guy saves everything. Saves everything. I know. Saves everything. I know. I know. Everything.